Well, first of all, um, tell us about your character, uh, the special agent, uh, Stuart Scola. You came to the series in season two, right? Uh, what interested you about this character? So I think something that was interesting for me about the character of Scola was that he he was a guy who um, he grew up in a wealthy, elite New York City family, went to Ivy League school, and he was on a path to really probably be an investment banker. He worked on Wall Street. Um, and and 9-11 happened and he lost his brother. His brother died in 9-11 and he, he, it changed the course of his life forever. And he decided that he wanted to do something with, that had a higher calling. So he joined the FBI. Um, so, you know, Skoll is an interesting character in that he's, he doesn't have to be there. He could have lived his life out, you know, on a yacht or, you know, an, an extravagance, but he chose to do something that would give back in another way, which is really tells you a lot about who he is. And I think it's an interesting attribute of, of the character. Season five uh, kick off with a fantastical uh, and frenetic episode about this guy walking around the town with a bomb. Uh, and it was amazing. Uh, it's very nonstop. What else can we expect from this new season? Well, um, there's season five has, you know, for Scola, there's a lot of, there's a big personal challenges that come up that change, change who he is as a person. Um, But season five, I mean, incredible. There's an incredible crossover um, later in the season with all three. It's like a global crossover event that's, that's really interesting. Um, yeah, there's a lot of this. Season five is really good. It's crazy. It's, so, it's super busy. There's a whole bunch of new stuff that we haven't done before on the show, including the crossover. So, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of, it, there's a lot of action and a lot of, um, a lot of change for Scola. <laughs> Tell us about this highly anticipated crossover. How, how, how was to work with this, all these FBI's crews? Well, what's so cool about it is we're family, but we don't get to work with each other very often, right? We're all part of the same, the same world. So it's interesting to see the similarities and the differences. It's almost like there's a cultural exchange. <laughs> we, we come to each other's shows, onto each other's sets. We see, oh, this is how you guys do it. This is what we do. Is this where you do this? Um, and what's great is everyone sort of thinks that they're the best, they're, which is good. Everyone's proud of how their show does it. Um, but it's a little bit of healthy competition, a little bit of support, um, but it's, it's really, really fun to do. I mean, the cast on these shows are incredible and so dedicated and we show up and we shoot the scenes and we figure out what it is and, and we make it work. And it's, it's really something to, something to behold. How is it to work like in a special agent from the FBI? <laughs> what, what do you learn from the work of the agency? Well, I mean, one of the, I mean, there's, a, there's so much you learn, you know, we have, I got to learn how to do this job and portray this character. And one of the things that they, they do is they, they brought a guy who'd been an FBI agent in New York and had an entire career of experiences. And there was a really interesting respect for one another, right? He was He was fascinated by what we could do, which is nice of him. But we were also fascinated by what, what he could do and the stories that he had. So, you know, one of the things that always, always surprised me was every decision that you make is about the preservation of your own life because you're the person in danger. 
So one of the things that we do on television is we put ourselves at risk. But what's interesting to me is so much of that job is like the only thing worse than one dead agent is two dead agents. Like so much of their job is to be safe. Because if you don't learn how to be safe and follow protocol and take care of you, how are you going to be useful? So most of the time, what's interesting about his choices when he's going around a corner with a gun or when he has to run into a building, it's always about doing it in a way that's intelligent and planned and smart and, you know, preserving, preserving human life is really the crux of like that job. Well, we talk about this, uh, this crossover between the FBI shows, but what about to be part someday of another crossover with some other shows from Big Wolf, like Law and Order, or maybe the Chicago's? What do you think about it? Oh man, that would be so, that would be so cool. You know, <laughs> like I, I wish that, you know, it's so complicated to schedule because all the shows are in production for 10 months, right? So it's so busy and there's so, it's, it's incredible the amount of work that it takes, right? Because everything from my costume to how his hair is done to the props, they all have to go wherever you go. People have, it takes a massive amount of work. Um, but I would, I mean, that's my wish is that, you know, <laughs> Scola and Tiff could like go over to, you know, Law and Order and help them out or, you know, them come to us or, you know what I mean? Chicago, we get to go to Chicago, do an episode. <laughs> like, it, would, it would be so cool. Yeah, I we, wish. We are waiting for that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've, maybe we'll get there. If, as, as we get more crossovers under our belt with the three FBI's, maybe once we get better at those, then we can do the Chicago ones. Mm. I would like to talk about your career just a little. Through yeah. your career, you have made a bunch of crime dramas or, mm. or thrillers uh, for the TV, like 24, Bones, uh, mm. Law and Order, of course, and also feature films like Argo, um, Peppermint. Well, do you prefer to work on this particular genre or is it just a coincidence? Yeah, I think there is something that I like about about this genre. I think I think it's interesting. Um, I like the format. I like the you know the 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 writing and the storytelling on Law and Order. It always it it always interests me um, that they used you know they were the first one one of the first shows to really be using real stories from the headlines and shooting a show in New York. Right. The, the city of New York was one of the characters of the show. It's so essential. So I love that part of this job is the, the boots on the ground. What, you know, the city working with actors that are New York based or people that come here to shoot. I really love getting to have each episode be a, a new case. You know, I, I just, I love the, the format and, and the, the writing. It's almost like a tennis match. It's rhythmic, it's list, there's listening, it's action. You know, every episode we get to do a huge array of things and we shoot quickly. The pace of the, the way that we shoot, you, you know, you really, you don't spend all day sitting in a room, you know, which is nice. You get to, your blood's pumping and you feel the, the speed of shooting. So yeah, I, I definitely love this job. <laughs> well, John, I just want to thank you for your time. And I hope we can talk again in the next time. Cool. Nice to meet you, Francisco. Me too. Take care. <laughs>